Hi, this is Diana. In this video, I'll show you five AI tools that will take your creativity to the next level. Imagine being able to use a sketch to create amazing images or convert 2D images into three-dimensional animations. Style 3D elements with a simple text prompt, instantly create funny memes or transform yourself into a meme. You cannot get more more creative and you can do it all now thanks to the AI. I found myself sketching a lot lately so I was very impressed to see an AI tool that can turn your sketches into incredible images like for example turning this sketch into this cute creature or this one into a realistic looking woman and with just a simple adjustment using the same sketch you can create 3D images like this one. There are plenty of new AI tools nowadays but but finding good ones that actually work is pretty tough. So I was really happy to stumble across openart.ai. Let me show you how this sketch to image works. Type openart.ai on your browser and click on any of the star creating buttons. You'll see one here on top of the screen and another one in here. With this platform, you can turn your sketches into images, which is the tool that we are going to focus on today. But OpenArt also have interesting tools that you can try later, like creative variations, stock image transformer, custom people stock photos, magic brush, AI QR code, and there is a remove background coming soon. Click on any of the options that you see here to start creating. I'll go for sketch to image. On the left panel you'll see all the steps you need to follow. Let's start by uploading our own sketch and if you don't have one yet you can use any of these sketches that are available in the platform. What I have done so far to test this tool out is to sketch in a paper then I'm taking a photo of my sketch and I am uploading this photo to the platform. The second step is to add a description of what you want to generate. This step is optional but I do recommend you enter at least a couple of keywords. If not, the result can go in a completely different direction than what you want to generate. Here you can choose how similar you want the result to be compared to your sketch. I found the best results when I go for creative or very creative. The next two steps are also optional, style and color, but I do recommend you at least select a style. Sometimes we already have an idea of the visual we want to generate, so choosing a style can really help. Select a color theme or go for the default option. For style, I'm gonna select this arrow right here to see five more styles, and then I'm gonna select fantasy. On the color, I'm gonna select white. Finally, and this is very important, choose the number of images you want to generate. I believe this number is automatically set to 4, but you can change it manually. When you create a free OpenArt account, you get 100 trial credits, and for every image generated, you'll be charged 1 credit. So if you generate 4 images at once, your credits will run out really fast. Go for 1 or 2. Usually the different variations are quite similar, so I would say the best way Way to use it is to select one image, generate it, and then adjust the settings like for example you can change the style and then generate another image. Continue until you find the generation that you like. Here's the image that OpenArt created for me. I believe it is pretty pretty cute and it looks really amazing. Let me show you the original image. This is the sketch that I created. I draw this on paper Paper, I took the photo, I uploaded it, and this is the result. And before we move on to the next AI tools, I want to show you a couple of extra tips that you can use in open art. If you like one of the generations, but there is a little something that you would like to change, here's what you can do to fix it. Select the image, click edit, brush the area you want to change, write your prompt in this box, 
In this case, I want to remove this element that I see on my image. Open generation configuration. Under generation configuration, select the number of images you want to generate because this will also cost you credits and then click generate. I have my new generation ready. I don't see the horn that this image used to have here in the middle of the body. If you like this variation, you can click on this icon that says save image or you can select this button. If you didn't like this generation, you can click generate more to create more variations. Once you're happy with your creation, instead of downloading the image from here, click on the image, open the drop down and select either 2x or 4x to scale your image. And then you're ready to download your image. Let me know in the comments if you are going to try this tool out. And also remember that in the description of the video, I left the link to all the AI tools that I'm going to talk about in in the video. Leia Pix Converter allows you to instantly transform 2D images into depth animations completely free. It uses artificial intelligence to track, optimize, and sharpen 3D images. This is what you will see when you land on their homepage. And I know that three-dimensional images or 3D animations sound a little bit complicated, but trust me, it's pretty easy to use. You need to first create an account, so click where it says sign in with Leia or sign in. To create a new account, click here, fill this form and click next or simply sign in with your Google account. Once you are signing into your account, click upload and here you can be as creative as you want. I have seen that people usually use this platform with photos, but why not trying illustrations or or even social media posts. And by the way, stay until the end if you want to see how AI can help you generate really, really funny memes. I'll go for this Instagram carousel cover as I want to get people's attention by having some unexpected movement. As you can see, my image is already converted into a depth animation, but you can customize the animations if you want. You can change the animation length, you you can choose from one to six seconds. There are all these animation styles. You can view them on your image by just clicking on them. You can also adjust the amount of motion, focus point and edge of dilatation. Finally, you have an advanced editor in here. And if something doesn't look right, you can also play with the depth map settings. Once you are happy with your animation, click share and then select the file format in which you want to download your animation. I find myself very obsessed with the results that you can get with this tool. What do you think? Do you find this tool useful? PixCap is a graphic design tool that combines 3D and AI in one space. You can combine the 3D elements they have in their library to create unique variations and on top of this, style them using their new AI tool, which by the way is still in beta mode, so the results can be irregular, but I wanted to show it to you because I believe it has a lot of potential. Take a look at these examples they have on on their homepage, these are 3D elements that have been styled with their AI tool. Create an account by clicking sign up on top of the screen and then follow the steps. Once logged in, you can browse through the packs available in the platform or you can click on new project. I'm gonna select a pack and then an element that I like in here. Then click edit model. This is going to take you to the editor and from here you can start combining different 3D elements to create your own variation. In this case, I want to change the color of the Sunday. So I'm selecting the Sunday and on the left panel, you see that we have the strawberry ice cream. I can select this element and then change the color from here. I want to add a cherry on top. So let's go to elements and search for cherry. 
Let's filter the results by models and I see a cherry that I can use in here. So I'm selecting this model and then let me separate these two elements. Now I'm selecting the cherry and separating the cherry from the cake. Now I can delete this part of the model and work with the cherry. You will see that there are a couple of arrows in these elements. So if I grab one of these arrows, I can move my element in this space. You can also take these anchors to adjust the size of the element. I have my unique 3D Sunday in here and now we are ready to start using the AI Stylist tool. On the right hand side you will see in this panel. In this box you are going to enter your prompt and then click style with AI. Every generation will cost one credit but every Pixcap user has 20 free credits per month. I already used 10 of my credits so that's why I have 10 left and let's see what Pixcap can create for us. I'm gonna click style with AI. It took a while for Pixcap to generate the styled image but I want to show you the final result. This is the 3D image that I was able to generate with the platform and this is the styled version with the AI. Let me know if you like the results or not. The name of this tool does what it says. It generates memes from any image you upload. This is what you'll see when you land on image to meme homepage. The only way to create an account is by signing up with Google, which to me is a negative point as I wanted personally to create my own account with a corporate email. This is a minor downside as I guess they could end up including more sign up options in the future. When you sign in into your account this is what you will see. Click on image to meme generator. From here you are going to upload the image you want to use on your meme. Click open. From here you can select the type of meme you want to generate. You have a drop down and you can select any of these options. You can also select a language. You can choose from English, French, Spanish and German and then you can add some context to this meme generation. This part is optional but I do recommend you add a couple of keywords to help the AI be more precise with the generation of your memes. Finally click on generate meme. You will see that the tool generated four different versions or four different memes with the same image. You can view them here by clicking on each of these numbers. You can edit the text alignment the text style, the font color, you have some other colors in here and you can also edit the text on your meme. Even though I'm not going to use any of the variations exactly as it was generated by the tool, one of these options actually sparked my imagination and I was able to come up with something that I find kind of funny and I think aligns very well to the image. Once you're happy with your meme, simply click download and and save your image on your computer. And by the way, here's an extra tip in case that you want to earn some extra free credits in image to meme. You're gonna click on this burger menu and you will see earn credits. Click here and here you will see three different options to earn free meme credits. Did you know that you can transform yourself into a meme using AI technology? Well, with this app, you can do that. When you land on their page, you'll be able to download the app on your iPhone or your Android. This is how the app looks like once installed. So click continue. Then you would like to select the gender of the person that you want to create the meme from. The next step is to upload 10 photos of the same person and you will need to follow the tips that they provide in there. Then click generate memes and you will see this new window that is telling you that in order to generate these 30 memes, you will need to 
to wait 30 minutes. You can close the app while you wait and then the images will be there once they are ready. I know that nowadays waiting 30 minutes to be able to create a couple of memes it sounds a lot but it is worth it. I was really surprised when I saw the results. Let me show you. The app said that I was going to get 30 memes and I only got 19 but they are so good that I am not mad at these results. It is actually pretty funny because the first time I saw these results I was scared, I was laughing and I was very surprised. So give it a go, try it out and let me know what you think of this app. And let me show you something else because when you click on any of these images you will see some other variations that you can also download from the app. So you will have option one and if you want to preview the other options simply click on these thumbnails. You will see your custom meme in here and you will see the original meme in this bubble but if you want to remove this preview tap here and finally to download your meme select save to photos. Remember that I left the links to all the AI tools that we saw today in the description and if you want to discover five more AI tools you need to watch this video right here. If you want to keep learning with us remember to subscribe to our channel and I guess this is it for today. I really hope to see you in the next video. Bye!